right now in a recession, there is a million ways to make money, right? And I think a lot of people don't realize that. I think what, for me, the only thing that people need to learn if they're going to try to make money like on the side here or like start a new business, like one of the things that uh, my dad said early, you know, um, in my, uh, I would say adolescence or teenage years was if I just knew what the key that I could press on my computer every single day, right? What, what do I need to do every single day um, on this computer? I can become a millionaire tomorrow, right? Something along those lines. I didn't say it quite as elo eloquently, but um, that, that was the idea. And so, you know, when I quit corporate and went into crypto and then built this channel stuff, I was like, I'm going to figure that out. I'm going to figure that problem out. What do I need to do? And now you have to, you know, there's a few other things. There's different, many, many different ways to do it, right? You could do, you know, copywriting, you could do editing, you could do um, YouTube itself. You can do a lot of different things, but essentially, um, all you really do need to do, all this is the one thing you need to realize we're going into the digital age. It's already here. It's been here for 20 years, right? Just read the book, the sovereign individual, right? Just read that book might be boring, whatever. I don't care. It's if you listen to it twice, it should blow your mind to some extent, right? If you read that book and you understand that humanity is going from basically when we went from nomads to farmers and society that's a huge shift when we went from you know uh religions controlling everything to the printing press and freedom of information and and self-education that was huge now when we go from the you know the industrial age to the digital age this transition that we're already in for you know the last 20 years or so it's huge. And the thing is, is like nobody has was taught how to survive and thrive during this type of environment, right? So you have to teach yourself. You have to be willing to go on YouTube, scrape through tons of information, right? And some people are like, well, why don't you just read books? It's like, yeah, you can read and listen to books. That's why I recommend The Sovereign Individual um, as well. But you have to, um, you know, a lot of the information is not, there's not like a textbook for dummies. Here's how you make money on the internet, right? But if you can figure out what your niche is and what kind of skill set, like drop shipping, probably stay away from that, uh, <laughs> you know, but yeah, you're going to fall into some stupid stuff like that to begin with. But, you know, if you really, really plug away at it and you're like, okay, in the next five years, I'm going to figure out what it is that I can do through the internet. Maybe it's just, you know, flipping stuff on eBay. Like literally I made some good money when I was a teenager flipping uh, some stuff uh, on eBay. And, you know, there's, there's that one guy who what famously took like a paper clip and then like traded his way all the way up to a house or something from yeah, eBay. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, right. you can do that shit. Right. So it's just, it takes creativity and it takes uh, dedication to learning. Um, so I'm not going to give like somebody a, a prescribed formula of you need to become a YouTuber. You need to become this or that in order to make money on the internet, but you have to be willing to expand your horizons on the internet. And like, yeah, if you're 60 years old, it might be a little bit harder to understand or harder to learn. Um, but essentially you can, like the internet has now, especially with all the money that's been printed, has literally infinite, amount, infinite amounts of money that all you need to figure out is how do you provide value to the world through the digital space? And, and eventually, right, when we do get the metaverse, this is where the fusion between crypto and the current digital world of web 2.0 really starts to come together so you can make money playing games you can make money going and making uh what do you call it like events in a in a um uh, in the metaverse uh, like a trade show type event right you can make money doing xyz and it might seem ridiculous i thought when we when i started youtube i, I felt so weird i was like man i like i'm like now I'm quintessential millennial you know <laughs> like it was it was a little odd but like now that i've gotten used to it, i'm like ah, okay. I understand this aspect of the digital game and that aspect. And, and you really just, you know, keep yeah. t uh, trying to get those things under your belt and, and, you know, eventually, you know, the snowball of the, that momentum will get rolling. And then great. If you're doing another job on the side, that gives you extra money to be able to dollar cost average into crypto or to spend on a vacation or whatever it is that you're going to do. But, um, you know, the thing that I think is lacking with most people is persistence, consistency, uh, persistency and consistency and the willingness to actually work, right, right. and study. Uh, if, if you can't do those things, yeah, you're not going to have success at all.